Dino 2.3 was just released, and we continue to simplify programming for JavaScript and TypeScript. This release adds new features for useful subcommands like Dino Compile and Dino Format, support for using local npm packages, as well as several performance improvements. If you haven't tried Dino Compile yet, you are missing out. The command will compile your project into a single binary, making it easy to distribute ready-to-run programs without needing to install Dino or dependencies. Dino 2.3 extends Dino Compile to support programs that use foreign function interface and node native add-ons. This means that starting now, compiled Dino binaries can include and work with native libraries or node plugins. In practice, you can now compile this code with the FFI flag and then simply execute the binary to get the desired result. On top of that, Dino Compile now has the ability to exclude specific files from being embedded during the compilation process. This gives you more control over which files get packaged into the standalone executable and can reduce the executable size by removing unnecessary files and excluding development or test files from production builds. But this new Dino version isn't just about native add-on support or faster compile times. It is a release packed with dozens of small but meaningful upgrades that make development smoother, faster and simpler. Dino now lets you develop and test npm packages locally without publishing them. All you need is a local node modules folder and a simple patch entry in your dino.json. Dino even respects the same package name resolution rules as npm, but keep in mind it still expects that your package exists in the public npm registry. This feature is great if you're working on a monorepo or juggling multiple projects that rely on shared libraries. Formatting also got smarter. Dino format now supports embedded CSS, HTML, and even SQL in tag templates. No more messed up indentation in your styled components or SQL strings. You also get 14 new formatter options you can configure in Dino.json, so you're no longer stuck with whatever default decisions Dino made for you. Observability matters too, and Dino continues to push OpenTelemetry forward. With 2.3, you can attach custom events to spans, track node HTTP requests automatically, and even export V8 engine metrics for monitoring memory usage over time. Distributed tracing now also works better out of the box thanks to improved span context propagation. This makes Dino more viable for production-grade observability setups without needing to wire in extra tooling or boilerplate code. For TypeScript fans, which is basically Dino's core audience, Dino Check got a quality of life update and you no longer need to specify a file when working with it. Just run Dino Check and it'll analyze your whole project like you'd expect. As always, you can easily upgrade to Dino 2.3 with an easy command in the terminal. Please share your feedback about this new release in the comments and until next time, thank you for watching.